I have this. Heat exchanger, all right. Yeah, so uh, you can see maybe uh, the, can you see the tunnel, the, the heat? Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you can see them clearer here, I guess. You've got spirally things. So I'm kind of thinking, uh, you put the steam in the top, and then we have some sort of flow restriction so that it will only come out at whatever rate that it, once it's condensed all the way down here, it, it's only going to come out at a slow rate, if you know what I mean. And then the cooler water comes in here and out here. So the, the, it, it, the water will fill up and it will use the coal energy down here and the steam's coming in the top, counter current uh, operation. And that's basically it, 16 kilowatt heat exchanger. Uh, it says on the spec sheets that um, uh, it would normally have 28 liters a minute going in as the hot heat hot water and 185 liters a minute going in as the water to be heated. Okay. okay. Uh, obviously, we're not going to be achieving that. <laughs> Uh, what what did uh, me three five six say was the input flow rate? Really low. Yeah, not quarter, not quarter quarter of a liter per minute. Yeah, so we're going to be going at a much lower rate than that. <laughs> yeah, um, and we just have to see what happens. Really. Um, uh, I think we're okay. I, I'm going to go tomorrow and look at see what, what uh, pipe fittings I can get to join it all up with the, uh, um, you know, the, what do you call it, um, uh, the uh, kilowatt meter. This is a heat exchanger. Anyway, um, and, and so, uh, but we want a bit of length of pipe here because we don't want people complaining that the temperature that's sensed by the temperature of the input is something to do with the te temperature of this conducting along the pipe. Um, to be fair, the outside of this will be completely bathed in the coolest part of the water. And then, so, so it's, it's good for that. And that's the same you know, on, on the outside of this, it's, it's, whilst the hot steam is there, it's going to be the differential, it's going to be the water that's going to be a lot cooler than the steam coming out. So, um, and then it's a case of can we uh, adjust to the uh, input tap water or, or from maybe, I think we could put the tap water into a reservoir at known height and then have a continuous sort of, I don't know, flow rate. I don't know, we'd need to keep the, the reservoir tap, uh, you know, at a certain level, maybe have a, a stop cap cock or something. I don't know if that's. We got to go through the flow meter, and so. I mean, the flow meter is pretty damn accurate, uh, even down to very low flow rates. So, you know, uh, and it's going to be able to sense the variation in the flow rate. Yeah. So you've got a flow rate. Um, what are the limits? I got to look at the specs on that device again. Yeah. And, uh, but my the flow meter I'm bringing is going to be another. About, see, at a quarter liter a minute, it's really low, but at a couple liters a minute, it's going to be two or three psi of pressure loss. Uh -huh. And that's at least six feet. Can I actually get that? Mm. 